Recently, I've been experimenting with watercolor pencils, and today I'm going to go over with you how I create realistic feathers. Welcome to Watercolor Whimsy. Thank you for joining me today. We will be working on realistic feathers with watercolor pencils. Okay. Let's talk materials. We are going to start with a cold press watercolor paper. The brand I am currently using is Carson. It is 140 pounds or 300 grams. The watercolor pencils that I will be using today are Stettler's. I think that's how you say it. It's a 48 pack, but today we will be using four colors, two blues and two purples. You will also need clean water and today I will be using a round size zero crafter's choice watercolor brush. Now that we've covered materials, let's get into technique. As you can see in the video, I am currently blocking out the colors of each feather. I like to start with the lightest color and then add in the dark colors. This makes it easier for blending, I find. It's a technique that I've used with regular pencil crayons since I was a teenager. When working with watercolor pencils, I like to color in a small circular motion. This creates the most even coverage and prevents your coloring from having any distinct direction. The direction of your coloring becomes relevant when you start to activate your watercolor pencils. Now let's speed this up and get our coloring down. If you are following along, please feel free to pause the video at any point and catch up. At this point, I've blocked in my colors and I will be adding any shadows. The shadows in this piece are mostly cast by each feather in between each feather. As you can see here, I'm just outlining my feathers so that when I go to put in the detail, I don't have to worry about the shadows. All right, let's start activating our watercolor. This process is very simple, but I like to take it slow. You do not need a lot of water on your brush. A little water goes a very, very long way. So dip your brush in some water, remove the excess, and then starting with the lightest color, slowly apply the water to your picture. Like I said, I will start with the lightest color and I will move into the next color slowly. When blending watercolor pencils, I do find it is easy when the colors are of the same hue and you are just changing the value of the color. Also, if the colors are analogous or adjacent on the color wheel. Things get tricky when you're trying to combine colors that are complementary or changing the saturation too much. In these situations, what I recommend doing is starting with the lightest color and applying your water so that it's nice and wet then cleaning your brush and applying water to your complementary color. Then if you clean your brush again and get a little bit more water, if you stroke down the middle of the two colors that you just wet, the water will naturally make the colors combine. The effect that you're achieving here is similar to a wet on dry with traditional watercolor. I think it looks really nice. It's a great, it's a great base to start with. Okay, now for the fun part. This is where we are going to create all the fine details of the feathers. We are going to be using a color lifting effect. It's similar to traditional watercolor. What you are gonna do is you're going to clean your brush and dry it enough so that it is just lightly damp. I should mention that I did allow the last layer to dry completely before I started this step. What you are doing here is you are rehydrating the paint one more time and lightly lifting the color. What you notice here is you are also taking that dark blue color and you're dragging it down, creating the shadow in between each individual feather. I take this process really slowly and it does seem like it might be a little bit tedious, but for me, I find it to be the most enjoyable. So satisfying. The speed that I'm doing this in in the video is twice the speed that it actually takes me. This is how slow that I usually do this process. 
All right, let's listen to some light music and get through this process. I hope you enjoy. first wash, go ahead and add some more at this time. You can add as much color as you need. When I get to the edge of the page like this, I like to drag my brush 
all the way past the washed area. This gives the feathers so much more detail and it's just, it's just beautiful. So satisfying to watch. If you've made it this far, then you have learned how to use watercolor pencils to make detailed feathers. Congratulations! Yay! I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed the process of painting these feathers. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you!